Hi everyone and welcome to Developer 3.5 Pro YouTube channel. In this video we are going to add the wheel with some few animations. Before we tap on the screen the wheel is playing the idle animation and when I tap on the screen it's rotating around the X axis and also I can jump using my up swipe. So we didn't add the sliding yet we are going to do that later on. You notice that I removed the tile with the high works barrier. So we can do that by removing it from the tile prefabs array in the tile manager script. We are going to give it back later on when we add the sliding. So without further ado, let's get started. First, let's go under the models folder. Here we have all the models that we've made using Blender. And here we have the wheel. So go ahead and drag and drop this wheel inside the player. Then you can go to the scene and see how it looks like. So it's fitting correctly. Now if you hit play, you see that we have this wheel. And it's looking okay for now. But there is no animations, so we are going to add some few animations. Like uh, idle, run and sliding when we add the sliding also. So uh, let's add the animations. So to do that, I'm going to put the wheel inside an empty game object because I don't want to uh, animate this wheel. You see that the value of the scale is a little bit big. So let's create an empty game object and let's call this wheel. Then let's put the wheel 3D model inside this empty game object. Now to make an animation, select the wheel, then go to window animation animation and let's create the first one using this create button so I'm gonna put it inside the animations folder and let's call this idle then hit save so in this animation I'm going to change the uh, scale of the wheel along the x-axis so hit the record button then in the first f uh, in the first frame so let's try to change the uh, scale a little bit then let's give it back to 1 and let's go to the frame 30 and I'm going to change the scale along the X axis to 1.2 then at the frame 60 let's give it back to 1 now when you hit play you see that uh, the wheel it's looking like it's breathing now let's create the other animations for example the run animation we are going to rotate the wheel along the x-axis so to do that let's go over here and let's create a new animation and let's call this run then hit save in this animation we are going to change the x rotation of the wheel so change the x rotation a little bit but before that make sure to uh, hit the record button and try to change the X rotation so that we can save a keyframe over here so in the first keyframe the X rotation is 0 then at the frame 10 let's put it to 90 and at the frame 20 let's put it to 180 the same thing at the frame 30 let's change it to 270 and finally at the frame 40 let's put it to 360 now if you hit play you see that the wheel is rotating around the X axis and you can see it over here and this is for the run animation let's create the jump one so the same thing go over here and let's create a new clip and let's call this jump then hit save so for this animation I'm going to change the rotation around the uh, Y axis so uh, <coughs> hit this record button then the same thing let's change the Y rotation a little bit to uh, save the keyframe and give it back to 0 then at the frame 10 I'm gonna change the Y rotation to 90 and at the frame 20 let's change it to 180 and so on
Now, if you hit play, you see that we have this effect. So, uh, let's exit now. We need just these animations for now. We are going to add this slide one later on. So, when we create the first animation, which is the idle, Unity creates by default an animator. So, to open this animator, go to Window, Animation, Animator, and here we have the animator with the different animations. So, by default, the wheel is in the idle animation. So we are going to add some transitions from idle to run and from run to jump and so on. And to do that we need to add some parameters so that we can control them from the script. So go under parameters and let's create the first one. And let's make a boolean. So let's call this is game started. So we are going to go from the idle animation to the run animation when is game started is true so select this transition then let's go under here here we can add the conditions so we are going to go from the idle animation to the run animation when is game started is true so uh, let's open the player controller script under scripts open the tab on visual studio and under here let's make a reference for the animator so let's make public animator and let's call this animator as well and over here we are going to access the uh, boolean parameter from here so when the game is started we are going to change the animator is game started boolean parameter using animator dot set ball and the ball is called is game started so we are going to set it to true now let's save this and let's go back into unity then select the player and under here drag and drop the wheel inside the animator then let's hit play you see now by default the wheel is playing the idle animation and when I tap on the screen the wheel is rotating but as you can see we need to uh, uncheck the has exit time so that we can go directly from the idle animation to the run animation when we set this boolean and to do that select the transition and over here and check the has exit time let's test this again you see we have the wheel playing the right animation but we need to add the jump one as you can see when I swipe up we have to play the uh, jump animation and to do that let's go back to the animator so we are going to make a transition from the run animation to the jump one so we are going to go from the run animation to the jump animation when is grounded is false so when the player is not grounded this means that we are jumping so we need to go to the jump animation so uh, let's select this transition the same thing remove has exit time and the condition over here is grounded is true but before that we need to create this parameter under the parameters let's create a new boolean parameter and let's call this is grounded as well then to go from the run animation to the jump animation when is grounded is false and the same thing we need to go from the jump animation to the run animation when is grounded is true so as a condition here is grounded true and the same thing remove has exit time the same thing let's go back to the player controller script and over here let's change the uh, value of the parameter that we've just created using animator dot set bool and the boolean is called is grounded and we are going to set the value of this uh, variable 
which is going to tell us if the player is on the ground or not now let's save this and go back into unity and hit this run button as you can see by default the wheel is in the idle animation and when you tap on the screen it's rotating around the x axis and when I try to jump you see that we have the jump animation So that's pretty much it for this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it, if you have any question or comment feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and uh, have a great day.